Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 2 of Adobe Anime Tutorial Series. So today we're going to look at what Adobe is, um, I mean Adobe Animate can be used for uh, and its different options. So uh, in the last lesson we talked about how, um, how Animate can be used for different type of animations. So if you want to create HTML5 animations and WebGL animations, you can do that. So if you just press HTML5 and what you get here is an HTML5 canvas instead of a flash canvas. So this can be exported as XML or HTML files and it can be embedded in uh, software such as Dreamweaver. So if I were to drag a shape over here, then it actually creates an HTML5 canvas uh, code right there instead of uh, flash. So if you want to create traditional uh, flash animations, uh, you, you can just select let's say uh, action script 3.0 that's what we'll use in our uh, entire lesson right here and webzl if you want to use for webzl plugin and you want to use webzl application and this is you this usually requires uh, extra plugins for uh, to be installed in the browser before it can be used but this is quite smooth if you are on a graphics card based computer so now over here there's air for desktop as well so air for desktop is an environment where you can create um, an um, an um, an environment where you can create application for desktop operating systems like Mac OS and um, Windows. So you can actually create application if you know how to use programming. But that is not what we are focusing on the lesson, as we are focusing more on animation. So over here, uh, you can also create Android software. So if you go for Air for Android software, you can see that uh, you actually get an Android-like screen where you, where you can create interactive elements to create simple applications. So if you don't like coding and if you uh, like drag and drop system, then this is actually a neat way to create Android-based, uh, uh, Android or iOS-based applications. So you can also export this as iOS um, files just like this. So you can just create it and export it. Uh, but if you want directly want iOS uh, based settings, so just go for Air for iOS right here. And there you go. You have the iOS based uh, canvas right there. So all of these are aligned for different settings. So now the difference is that in SML5 um, canvas, what you get is inside of code snippets. For example, there's something called code snippets. All right, so over here, like uh, in the windows, you don't actually have code snippets, I guess. So on the uh, flash right here. All right, so you get something called code snippets, as you can see. And in the SL5 canvas, all right, so I guess, yeah, the code snippets, it's here. Sorry for that. All right, so in the HTML5 canvas, you can use, you will have to use HTML5 canvas code snippets, which is uh, HTML5 based codes. And in the action script based um, canvas that is in flash canvas, or if you want to create an application and export it to iOS and uh, Android, you have to use the action script code snippets, which is a lot more in comparison to HTML5 canvas code snippet. And if you were to use WebGL uh, code snippet, then you have to use the WebGL code snippet right here. You cannot use all of them in the same uh, canvas because that will create an error and you cannot export your uh, animation file. So all of these code snippets are there for different uh, purposes and if you want to create for web just go for HTML5 canvas right here. If you want to create for web interactivity which, uh, and if you want it to be much smoother then just use WebZL especially if you want to target desktops because in mobile phones you don't, do not usually have extra plugins and use the canvas if you want to create traditional 2D based animations or applications. So that is how Flash works. So initially we'll be focusing on this, but we'll also look at HTML5 and then WebGL canvases in our lessons later on. So I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.